Hello guys, welcome back to P7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily P7 Engineering videos. And today lecture, we are going to explain the slump of concrete. Now, what is mean by slump? Slump means, the slump shows the workability of concrete. Workability of concrete. That how much the concrete is workable. So, if we have higher slump, if there is a slump value and that is higher, it means that our, that our concrete is more fluible and more workable. So the workability is higher. Workability is higher. If our slump value for a concrete is lower, it means the workability is lower. So it shows or explain or describe the workability of the concrete. That how much it is easy to work with the concrete. So that's why we, we define the slump test for the concrete in order to check the workability of the concrete. So depending on the different application, we have different slump values. Now, how the slump test is done here? So basically, there is a cone. For example, this cone is usually used for the concrete test, for the slump test. This cone you see here with the blue lines. This blue lines is the cone with the diameter of bottom is 20 cm with the top is 10 cm and the height of the cone is 30 cm this is a standard cone so then the concrete is poured into this cone then the concrete is poured this is the concrete concrete is poured into this cone with the standard dimension and then after this few seconds the cone is removed you see here with the red it has been moved upward so this cone is removed in upward direction so we see here that the concrete spread like in this way so this is known as the slump flow that how much it has been spread after removing the standard cone and here here we determine the slump that how much it decreases from the original height this is known as the slump original was this height you see here this was the original height and now it has been decreased to a certain value so this value is known as the slump of the concrete there are different classes of the slump and each class has different application for example for a dam for a dam structures we have different slump values for tunnel we have different slump value for buildings we have different slump requirement values and also depending on a specific project we have different slump requirement so here I will explain some of the slump classes here. So here are different classes. Here are classes, class of slump, and here is the range in millimeter. So this is if I draw the table. So S1 is the class where the range of the slump is only from 10 millimeter to 40 millimeter. So it means 10 to 40 millimeter means that this height of the concrete when we remove the slump cone so this height is in the range of 10 to 40 millimeter so this is known as the S1 class S2 class is the slump range is from 50 to 90 millimeter so when this height when this height is for example 70 millimeter so we call it 70 millimeter so we call it S2 class because this is in the range of 50 to 90 millimeter now is 3 class it is the range of 100 to 150 millimeter it is more fluible concrete is 4 concrete slump has value of 160 to 210 this is the in millimeter the last one is s5 slump where it, the range is 210 plus onwards it means if this if this value is 220 for example if 220 millimeter if the slump height is 220 millimeter then we call is that this is s5 class of slump and s5 has its own purposes or its own application so each of these classes are used to define the different slump and accordingly we use different slump concrete uh, depending on the different project so hope you guys understand the slump that why we do the slump because to check the workability and fluidity of the concrete and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video